Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radku Tarot and this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and Capricorn Rising weekly, uh, is, excuse me, <laughs> monthly tarot reading for December 2018 so uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again guys that this is just a, a general reading for Capricorn Star Sign and it is not your personal reading therefore in this video I will do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but at the end it forced you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation now if you uh, if you want me to do that for you just like I'm doing in the examples in this video that I'm giving uh, that will be a subject of a personal reading and uh, for personal readings uh, you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricings and also as this is December the month of uh, Christmas there is a Christmas sale going on uh, which simply abates the prices of the 20 and the 30 minutes uh, service and uh, if you want to save some money by purchasing a personal reading with me that is the way to go also if you find these reports helpful and you want to know even more about your month um, <clears throat> then you can obtain the extended monthly tarot reading uh, for the month of December in my web or from my website for just dollar forty nine and there we are focusing specifically on career and relationships for the representative star sign. So that being said, moving on forward, uh, this is the general tarot layout here and the first card for you Capricorns which is marking the topic of your month that is going to be the Sun card. So obviously I have a very cheerful month. It is what we do have for you guys. The Sun card is one of the most positive cards in the tarot deck. It does represent uh, vital energy and does represent as well monetary success but it does represent peace. All right. So let me explain it to you like this. The sun is the gentle soul that drops happiness everywhere it goes. Therefore, uh, following this specific interpretation, which is given, by the way, by Alistair Crowley, uh, <clears throat> It does seem that at many places or at many fronts in your life throughout month of December, the difficulties are to stop abating and they will start dropping off. They will basically diminish and will be no longer in present. So just to give you a quick example here, some conflicts in your career are likely to drop off. Conflicts in your relationship as well are likely to drop off. And the Sun card as well is a sign that um, the situations you are involved in are to start taking back a unnatural turn. So everything will start unfolding completely, completely naturally. In that specific sense, if you are uh, putting a hard work behind your career, then you are going to be rewarded for it. If you are putting a hard work behind your relationship, you are going to be rewarded for it as well with obviously success into your career and success into your relationship but again the, the, the Sun card mainly shines into burying down the tomahawks of war so it's very important throughout the month of December here to try to uh, negotiate and reach peace with those that you are in a, uh, a rather, rather kind of like a, a hostile terms colleagues again uh, people into your social circle and etc etc so you can be able to experience those drop of happiness everywhere you go and you can spread them around the world Just because with this card it is likely that everything that you touch basically is going to work out and also everything everywhere you go people are going to appreciate your presence to its outer limits and then what we do have is the intentions or how you should capitalize on the sun card here that will be the magician so the natural flow of events here is what we are going to focus mainly because the magician points that you all will be able to with this specific natural flow you will be able to start a, an enterprise a project or a relationship that you until this very moment only dreamt of 
So that could be a new niche in your business. You know, it could be start dating with the person you so much wanted from uh, from until this very moment, or it could be being involved into the project that you were just looking as a observer until this very moment as well. The magician card here points the, the, the as a, as a prerequisite of the sun or as a prerequisite of making peace with those around you. Now you are to obtain a, a huge personal sovereignty and also this peace that you are going to accomplish as well is going to give you the prerequisite of initiating a, a specific activity of yours which you want to initiate that is very important. It is not going to be something random here guys. I mean this is a, a thing that you will consciously want to uh, to initiate and if you don't have such thing at, at, at the moment you are watching at this video maybe it's time for you to think about it what what additionally you want to achieve in your life and you want to make uh, in your life because this is obviously a, a very favorable month to place the foundations of it and also uh, as we are talking about reaching peace with the people that you are having a rather more um, a rivalry type of relationship the magician here points that that will be achieved through using your exceptional communication skills uh, also um, <clears throat> as you are going to be uh, with radiant energy throughout the month so you are going to attract people around you this is the synergy in between these couple of cards it does look like that you will be able as well to build up a lot of followers so if you do have a private business these couple of cards here are pointing that you are to win additional a lot of clients or at least you are going to receive a lot of inquiries on which you can approach with a very creative um, nature of your behalf and so you will be able to amuse the customers that are giving you those inquiries but you have to be very careful throughout this month that whatever you decide to create here is going to be indestructible even by you so you have to be very aware what you want to create with these positive energies of the sun card giving you peace happiness and a natural flow of the situation and being <coughs> capitalized on with determinate actions and as well you know a sense of personal sovereignty and iron will so what we do have ultimately here is clearance for you to move on forward and start working for whatever uh, it is in your mind at that very moment the challenges which are causing predicaments here that will be the uh, two of swords and the two of swords uh, it's kind of like a quite ambivalent card I'm sorry if I'm not using the correct term here. So what I'm going to, um, so what the card manifests, it is the multiple way of moving on forward, or rather like uh, uh, the absence of being able to make a choice because either version of proceeding on forward will seem um, equally accurate to you. Now the, the very, how can I place it? The very incorporation of the sense of the card, it is like, uh, when you before you decide what to do you have to consider all points of view and also that there is more than one way to look at something so basically the hesitance of you how to proceed on forward will be a, a predicament that you need to overcome very important however with the two of swords is that you are feeling if you are feeling insecure and unsure with uh, the decision how to proceed with your relationship or with your career and how to capitalize you know on this very positive and peaceful energies here um, to wait for uh, for the time being because with the two of swords if you are patient enough to wait uh, until the, the moment is right at the right moment and in the right time the uh, right and the correct approach or answer will become obvious to you with or through the process of um, elimination but the very least the two of uh, the two of swords here further strengthens the peaceful energy of the sun which to some uh, which to at some point may become uh, a bit annoying at your behalf because with peace comes a lack of action all right and um, also a, a lack of challenge and maybe you are such a person who likes to overcome challenges well i have a news for you this month is going to be completely deprived from challenges therefore if you look at from the bright side uh, it it also means that you are going to have a, a clear 
um, a clear path in front of you to start building up the very foundations of whatever you want to be your empire. Then the next card, it is the guidance that you should continue on, uh, that you should incorporate, or rather the guidance how you should proceed on forward with this month. And we have the Ten of Swords. So the, the Ten of Swords here uh, plays a role of relief and also of, um, how can I place it? Cutting off the, uh, the the noxious part of your environment. It's kind of like uh, I don't want to give such an, an example, but it's more like cutting off the rotten meat out of a limb that have been uh, recently injured. All right. So Ten of Swords here asks you to be a little bit more ruthless, but not cruel and uh, acknowledge which really is helping you moving on forward and which is hanging as a, uh, a water mill sto uh, stone on your neck and is basically plummeting you down and uh, you need to show a, a strong back, uh, backbone here to say no I will not do that any longer you know and move on forward with um, with less kind of, how can I place it, with, with less burdens that you do have at that very moment. Uh, that could be very drastic, of course, you know, because it will require as well a certain retrospection. And some of you uh, may realize that your relationship itself, it is the thing that pulls you back. Someone may decide that uh, the partnership you do have in your business as well is something that pulls you back as well. And those things need to be fixed. And the, the appearance of the Ten of Swords, it speaks that they cannot be fixed by addressing the issue they can be only fixed when you kill the issue right and the issue can be killed when you deliberate yourself from them rather than try to make them work so this is the advice of the cards throughout the month being more aggressive toward the problems and especially as we do have these couple of cards it means that should you go to kill your problem you know, and kill, I mean, figuratively speaking, speaking here, and not that you have to, you know, physically kill somebody, or, or right? But if you go to kind of kill and annihilate your problem, uh, you will definitely be able to uh, do it with ease here with these cards, kind of like telling, for example, to your current partner to go away because they don't, they no longer fit into your criteria, or uh, telling to your partner into the business plan that they simply cannot catch up with you and uh, with your uh, with your motion here that you're following up with the project and they need to step off and etc. etc. Is basically these things need to be addressed, all right? Instead of just keeping it as silent treatment and uh, torturing yourself allowing someone to drag you back and as a result of all that what we do have here that will be the devil card so basically the devil card here is a confirmation that at the end you are to have whatever you want so whatever you are after here either in your relationship uh, <clears throat> or repairing back your relationship and in that specific case if you are to repair back your relationship the ten of swords may not refer to your partner it may refer to somebody that your partner in very is very close to just to give you an example their friend who does not like you at all and they are constantly working for to bring down that relationship you know you address the issue confront that friend tell them the real truth into their face in a very ruthless way making them completely disappear all right but at the end nonetheless you capricorns are to have what you want and what you are after here at the very at the very start of the month so <clears throat> I can advise you uh, guys looking at these cards that you should spare no energy and no motion or no resource whatsoever to throw in your dream and uh, in generally in your goal that you do set in front of yourself for the duration of this month because at the end your goal is going to be given to you uh, either from the universe or it's going to be resolved by your personal efforts that really does not matter what it matters at the end is that you will prevail. So that being said, Capricorns, this was your uh, monthly tarot reading for December 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, guys, this was just a general reading for Capricorn star sign and it was not your personal reading. Of course, I gave a few examples here to make it a little bit more clear. And if you want that example to be your story, you know, the cards to be... Um, 
connected with your story, uh, then this is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.